Maiden Ibrahim Tun bat Sussex to draw. Glamorgan headed to Hove with dreams of promotion, but after three days on the south coast, those hopes have gone up in smoke. Results elsewhere have made it all but impossible for the Welsh county, and Sussex have soared in their second innings. Orr and Haynes with a monstrous 312 run unbeaten opening stand. Orr showed he was still in the same form, a tenth six added to his total early in the day. That would push him closer to a maiden double century, a mark he was denied by an Ajaz Patel finger. Haynes shot deflected onto the stumps, or run out at the non-striker's end for 198. One brought two, Allsop flashed a catch straight to Salter off Patel for three, and Clark joined him back in the dressing room. The roles reversed, Patel with the catch, Salter with the wicket. Finn Hudson Prentice would fall caught behind to Salter with the score up to 358, but Haynes was still there, and with four off the spinner, he moved to 150 runs from 214 balls. The Sussex captain and Daniel Ibrahim walked in for lunch soon after, the score up to 406 for four, the host's lead now 131. Haynes would fall on 177, caught by subfielder Gorvin off Patel just after lunch. A wonderful effort from the captain had provided 285 runs in back-to-back -back innings. Tier continued, pushing Sussex beyond 450 with four off Salter. But he would fall, firing a catch straight to Gorvin off Salter. Sussex six down, and with their lead 175, the game was far from safe yet. And Ashraf would go without scoring. Salter with an acrobatic grab to take the chance, fired back at him by the number eight. 18 year old Daniel Ibrahim stood between Glamorgan and a push for the win, but the young number six refused to be beaten. The lead beyond 200 when he brought up his 50 from 128 balls. And T was taken soon after with Sussex 210 in front. The score now 485 for seven. Ibrahim was making the most of his innings, but Carson couldn't stay with him. Outcaught by Root off Salter for 14, a fifth for the spinner. The game took on a distinct end of term feel, northeast given the ball as both sides wound down. Cook was the man bowling when Ibrahim moved to his maiden hundred. Good running from the pair got the precocious talent to his hundred, and handshakes were offered the moment he had. Spoils shared on the final afternoon of the season. But Morgan had come so close to promotion, but heading into their final match, it had been out of their hands, and they'd been denied by proceedings earlier in the day at New Road. There'll be a threat next year, though, their season a history making one nonetheless, while Sussex will continue to cultivate their talented young side. With some more experience, they could well be a force to be reckoned with sooner rather than later.